Big game like. this weekend against Rovers then. It is a massive game as Rovers always is. It's a uh, always an attraction here and uh, they're going well too to be fair and uh, it's good to have them at home and um should get back on the pitch after the game last week in Luxembourg. Yeah, how are the team looking injury wise? Um we're not too bad. Um couple of knocks to be fair from last week. Um it's just a matter of managing these now for a few days. Luckily the Sunday helps us that way as well, like Kevin O'Connor's his ankle injury that's been going on a while. Um it takes a bit of time to so hopefully Shane Griffin might be over his shoulder injury as well, but that's why the Sunday helps as well, it just gives us that extra couple of days to make sure these bodies are okay. Yeah, I suppose with your opponent might know how important it is to, to try and drive on in the league, starting with this fixture or Yeah, massive to be honest, look, we never rest on our laurels, we want to push up as up the table as far as we can. We still have an FA Cup in two weeks as well. Mm -hmm. So there's still a lot to play for and um, we'll be going out Sunday to get a positive result and try and win the game and that's what you need to do. It's never a case of just writing it off. We need to push on and get back up that table as quickly as possible and um, that's what hopefully Sunday will start to that. Do you think it's more beneficial to City having had the, the bit of a break whereas the Rovers will be going in after playing tonight against Brighton? Um, yeah, look, obviously the last few years have told us maybe from 16 on is it's never easy coming out of Europe and um, we've had that where we've dropped a lot of points coming out of Europe over the last few years as well. It's tough, it happened to St. Pat's last week up in Bowes, I've no doubt the European hangover was a, a factor there. Um, to be fair, Rovers didn't have it last week. Um, so look, I know they have a game tonight, which is a massive game for them and uh, we just need to be ready ourselves to play with high intensity and try and um, take three points. You mentioned the, the European hangover, there's none of that anymore, that's kind of all the lads is it? Probably yeah, and to be fair, I thought like that game over, I thought the boys were brilliant. Yeah. To be fair, they were outstanding and um, the support over there was brilliant as well. People probably getting planes, trains, whatever it was to to get to the game and they were outstanding, I thought the boys were outstanding and you can take the positives out of that performance as gutting as it was not to get through, we take the positives out of it, the lads had a bit more time, a couple of days off to reflect on that and um, you need to bring that into Sunday now and play, with, play the way we did in that game and uh, take that into Sunday and into the rest of the season. Looks like they've hit it like a proper patch as well, obviously mm -hmm. over as John with, you know, scoring 11 goals in the last three matches. How do you plan to set up against them on Sunday, like free scoring at the moment? Um, look, yeah, look, Rovers are a good side. They're where they are for a reason, to be fair. They have a lot of good players, very good players, and a lot of options in those areas. And uh, look, you know, you need to be disciplined and defend well and defend as, as a unit, really, and everyone together. And But we, we've done a lot of work on that this morning, and uh, we have more work on Saturday. And look, we still need to identify areas where we can try and hurt them and try and get after them and, and play with high intensity and try and go and win the match as well. But Look, obviously we have to be aware of the players they have as well, but um, look, we need to concentrate on ourselves as well and try and do what we can to try and get three points as well ourselves. Yeah, well, it'll be taken from the matches against them, John. Obviously beaten by them twice this season. Yeah, look, obviously the first game down here, um, we gave away a soft first goal, to be honest. Uh, we lost the ball in a, a, an area and then two passes later, the ball's in the back of the net. Uh, Rovers were flying at the time, we were going through a difficult patch. And, Watching the games back over the last few days, the, the away game, we were very good for 50 minutes. Very good, we'd probably frustrated them a bit as well up in Tala. Then we give away a soft goal five, five minutes after half time, mm. which was a soft goal. And then it's an uphill battle then as well. But for that first 50 minutes, I thought we were very good. And we need to try and take that, take the positives from that. Obviously, look, we'd have looked on it where they, the way they play as well with the players they have. And, but we need to try and identify areas where we can um, try and hurt them as well. You've got into a rut, I suppose, the draws, John, like, we've drawn four in the last five. Would a draw be a good result, seen as a good result? Like, um, no, look, first and foremost, you go to win the game. Mm -hmm. Look, you know after the match if the draw was a good result, it would it help you or not, like, which way the game went. But we'll be going out Sunday to try and win the match. And as I said, we identify areas where we can try and get at them and get after them and uh, try and take the game to them and get, uh, get three points and uh, go back into the second half of the season with the cup coming up as well. And, Try and drive back up that table. And just yourself personally, John, as the interim manager, obviously, like, a lot of talk this week about <laughs> CVs going in for a new man manager. Uh, like, is yours in charge? Yeah, I mean, I've said it to him. But, um, you know, has it been disrupt disruptive in any way for you? Or are your thoughts on that? No, it hasn't. Look, I knew this could pop up at some stage anyway, to be honest. I knew um, it hasn't disrupted my week one bit, to be honest. Um, I'd be fully focused with the players and 
I'd back the players, the players would back me, and um, we're focused on Sunday, which is the main thing. That's all you keep doing is keep doing your job, and that's what we've done this week, yesterday, today, back in Saturday for training for Sunday. And that's all I'm concentrating on is trying to go out and get three points on Sunday and keeping the players focused, and that's that's the way we've dealt with it this week. Obviously, we're looking to, to finish the season on a high, like as you said, like, oh, there's still like trophies to be played for the FA Cup, and so on. For your own point, if you like, if you're looking to finish as strong as you can to put yourself in the in, in the habit, I suppose, to continue. Oh yeah, but look, not just for myself, but you know, it's about the players as well and the supporters and the club. In fairness, look, we've had a great run in the cup in the cup for the last four years, and it's something we we'll look to continue. And it's still a way into Europe, so it's not a case mm. of you just throw your hat at it. We need to go and try and get to the final of that competition, go and try and win that competition if we can, and get back into Europe, which is another avenue for that. And you go and try and win every game as which is in front of you and that starts on Sunday and look we we never rest on our laurels there. We we demand that from the players in training every day and that's what we're doing on Sunday. And that starts Sunday and hopefully get back up that table and look, main thing is get a bit of confidence back and get the, the supporters going again and um and take that into the rest of the season. And what would it mean to you personally, John, like to be the Cox City manager long term, like going into the future? What would it mean oh, to right, you? Look, obviously, look, even at the moment it's I'd be very proud to be doing what I'm doing at the moment for the last few months. It's, as I said before, it's something I would have, I've always come to turn as cross as a kid with my dad to watch games out here in Bishopstown. I can remember walking from Bannon College to watch the Slavia Prague game here. I'd walked out with a friend of mine. So I would look as a lot of the players would have been supporters as well. So look, no doubt as a local, a local man that I am and a Cork man that I am, I'd be, it'd be a proud moment for me. But it's a proud moment for me doing what I'm doing now anyway as well. So. What comes down the line comes down the line. I wouldn't. I would be thinking about that now. All I'd be focused on Sunday and doing the job properly for that. Have you told the club that you would like to stay at the end of the season? Um, look, the club have asked me to apply for it. They've asked. The, I was told that the other day. So look, that's that would be in the pipeline. But look, that's all for now. Really, to be honest, that's that's dealt with there. I have a good relationship with the club and uh, good communication and honest. And we've had positive talks on that. And um, as I said, that's that's where that's at. No, I can't give you any more information on that because I don't know any more information on that. So, um, all of our focus is on Sunday now for that. So, knowing look, we need to go and win games, and that starts Sunday, and that's the main thing for this club is to get back up the table and start winning games. How are you going to compensate for the loss of Shawnee uh, McLaughlin on Sunday and going forward for the rest of the season? Obviously, he's, a, he's been a major player this year for us. Yeah, look, Sean has been brilliant, brilliant, not just this year. Um, if people remember back, it was a 2017 Cup final. Sean didn't make the bench, and he's had an unbelievable 18 months in the league, really, since then. It's been phenomenal, and um, it just shows what hard work does and sacrifice, and uh, he's been outstanding. So, look, there's other players in there who feel they should be playing anyway, so it's up to them to give, they'll be given the opportunity. Go and show what you have and show what you should be playing, and it just gives another player an opportunity and that's what we'll be doing. Another chance. Is Sean going to be a loss? Absolutely, 100%. Because it's pointless me saying otherwise because it'd be stupid to say that otherwise. But um, it gives another player an opportunity to go in and play every week and, and show where he should be playing and, and take that forward as well for himself. It's just, I suppose, losing some players like that, John, it's just it's one of the vagaries of the job, I suppose. Because straight away you're looking at somebody like Rowan and Hurley, who could be five the would yeah, but, year, let's say. You know what I mean? It's, it's tough when you was manager, you're losing some of your best players. But you know what I mean? Yeah, but that happens in every club, yeah. to be honest. And look, it's grand losing players. You're saying you might lose players to other clubs in the league, but when players are going better in themselves like that, you wish them all the best. And they've been the reason they're getting that move is because they've been brilliant for the club and brilliant for whoever's managing at the time. So you have to wish the player all the best because they've they're going on to bigger and better things, hopefully, and forwarding their career, which is which is great, like Sean, is a, Sean has come through the academy here, came through the academy, left, he would have been here under um, Paul Vogel and Stuart Ashton, I'd say, and would have left and went to play with UCC, got his degree, came back, and two years later, even though there's nothing done concrete at the minute, um, has had talks with other clubs over in England, and that's, that's a credit to himself, and yeah. look, you can't feel sorry for yourself and be that selfish, look, if we can help players along the way and come through that pathway and get moves like that, it's brilliant for everyone and benefits everyone and we wish them all the best with that. Do you see the potential of them making it like you work for him closely? I think he's been capped out at 81 or 21 now. He has. Do you see him making, making 
if we were to put into an extra game. And uh, look, I'm be putting that pressure on him now. To be honest, look, he goes over. He just needs to go over and, and play, continue to play games. Uh, wherever, like wherever he goes, it goes and goes alone. Wherever it needs to play games and further his career and keep developing. And Sean is a great lad, very intelligent lad, as well as the way he's done it is the right way. Mm. In a lot of ways, too. To be fair, he's going away, got his, has his degree, and um, look, we'll follow close him and hopefully follow his success. And uh, with no doubt, he has the ability to do that. And um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully a few other players can take inspiration from that and, and drive forward themselves and you never know what will happen to another couple of them, which is great for everyone, as I said. It's it's what you want for these players, if they're good enough that they get the chance to further their career, because if they do, it means they've been brilliant for the club here as well and, and it helps everyone. Yeah.